barks fly off the table. I'll give it a go. Brittany Hart spends time teaching a group of women the art of welding. You can adjust like to lighter or darker um, and then you know how long it takes to darken or lighten back up. Um, yeah, weld, cut and grind are the settings for this one. It always starts with safety first, followed by a demo. It took me a minute to like realize that puddle and how it's supposed to look and how you're supposed to guide it and direct it and everything. Hart grew up in Tennessee and now lives in central Kentucky. Started off at BCTC and then was going through all of my core classes and then I was like, oh, I want to do some kind of trade. She knew what to weed out, wasn't really interested in healthcare trade skills and picked welding drawing from experience years ago when she welded on a friend's Jeep. I think in my class there was 20, including me, two or three women in there, females in that class. Teach how to do. So she earned an associate's degree in welding technologies yeah. from Bluegrass Community and Technical College. We're definitely wanting, you know, more females in the industry just because, I mean, there's not many, hardly. The nonprofit organization Women Who Weld says women make up only 5% of the workforce in the welding industry. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So whether the group here at Create Now Makerspace in Lexington sees welding as a hobby or a career, for Amy Varner, it's learning a new skill. Like how many people can say they know how to weld and as of 10 minutes ago, I can now say I know how to weld. It's really cool. It's, it's powerful, it's fun, it's practical. If you ever want to put something together. A skill gaining popularity for women. I mean, it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Getting more comfortable with welding. Spectrum News, Kathy Patel.